The Holley Terminator X is a tuning revelation for Fox body Mustangs. The Terminator X makes it easy to accommodate major engine changes, power adders, and even simplify nitrous. But for all the ways that the Holley Terminator X makes life easier for Mustang racers, some users struggle with the Ford idle air control motor behavior. The Holley Terminator X software has a solution, Advanced 1D Tables. We'll explain the problem and show a strategy to address it. Maybe you've noticed that sometimes your Ford IAC position at idle is around 30%, and other times it's nearly 0%. The engine is idling the same regardless. Weird, right? Here's why. Ford's IAC doesn't flow air linearly over its operating range. Between 0 and 40%, there is little airflow change in response to the IAC's position. This means the idle air control motor has very little flow control when moving through this range. It's just wasted time before the engine responds to the idle air control. But between 40 and 80% is where the IAC has a good linear relationship between engine speed and position. So keeping the IAC operating above 40% will improve the idle air control motor's ability to control the engine speed. We used a 1D table to keep the IAC above 40%. Here's how we set it up. First, we zeroed out the IAC hold position and ramp decay time settings and set the RPM above idle to start ramp to 2000 RPM. Then we went to Toolbox, Add Individual Config, and selected Advanced, and opened the default advanced.adv file. This new menu popped up. We selected the arrow to the right of the new Advanced ICF icon dropdown, and selected 1D Tables, Table Number 1. Next, we clicked the Enable Table checkbox to edit the table. From the Table Type dropdown, we chose the IAC Position Offset option. For the X axis, we selected RPM. Then, we set up the X axis to be from 600 to 3600 RPM. Selecting the first and last values, right clicking, and choosing Fill Row Values distributed the RPMs evenly. Our target idle is 800 RPM, so we filled in our minimum IAC position of 40% above and below that engine speed. Then we set the minimum IAC position at 3600 RPM to 80%. We filled the row values in between to create a straight slope between the two. We added a little upward slope below our idle RPM to help the IAC better catch the engine speed if it falls below our idle target. This table had several benefits that became clear while driving. First, the engine RPM falls between gears in a slower, more predictable fashion. This makes shifting a manual transmission smoothly easier. Here's a shift without the 1D table. Also note that without the 1D table enabled, the ramp down feature forces the IAC position to 0% while the engine is held above idle and the transmission is in gear. Then at idle, it doesn't increase as the idle airflow is maintained by the throttle body flow only. With the table enabled, a helpful effect is every time the throttle position goes from part throttle to idle, the IAC gives a little burp of air. This helps reduce clunking in the drivetrain when going on and off throttle. This also helps reduce stalling when feathering the throttle and slipping the clutch. Mm -hmm. 
Using a 1D table is a great way to tailor the IAC behavior to match your vehicle's needs and your driving tastes. It may take a little experimentation to determine the right values and slopes of the table that work for your setup, but a little bit of effort is well worth the results.